The U.S. Space Force just released this mind-boggling image of the Earth taken by America's highly secretive X-37B space plane. This image, taken sometime last year, shows the X-37 operating in what the Pentagon has described as a highly elliptical orbit, which takes the space plane extremely far from the Earth at its furthest reaches and all the way back down into low Earth orbit at its closest. In fact, during this flight, the X-37B reportedly used friction created by the atmosphere while passing by in low Earth orbit to perform aerobraking maneuvers that allowed the space plane to significantly change its orbit with minimal fuel burn. Now, reducing the fuel required to change orbit is a really big deal, especially for a platform like the X-37B, which sometimes stays up there for literally years at a time. And as I've long postulated, this would be extremely beneficial if America is indeed using the X-37B as an orbital intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance asset, or a spy satellite. As we've discussed in the past, spy satellite orbits are very predictable, and that makes it pretty easy to hide stuff from them. All you need is to know when the satellite will be flying overhead and then make sure your latest gear is tucked into a hangar. But a large and unpredictable elliptical orbit makes the X-37 very unpredictable itself, allowing it to surprise adversaries as it zooms by. As former Air Force Secretary Heather Wilson said of this capability back in 2019, We know it drives them nuts, and I'm really glad about that. Getting an advanced spy satellite into orbit today costs literally billions of dollars and often can take more than a decade to accomplish, meaning a spy satellite we launch today is probably carrying technology that first emerged 10 years ago. But the X-37 can just come in for a landing, swap out payloads for the latest and greatest gear, and then be launched right back into orbit. In fact, Boeing, the spacecraft's manufacturer, has even publicly acknowledged that while the outside of the spacecraft may look the same as it did during its first launch all the way back in 2010, internally it's seen significant upgrades and changes to continually increase the platform's orbital capabilities, whatever they may actually be. Now, the X-37 is actually still in orbit as we speak, and it's already been up there for more than a year, and for all we know, it could be up there for months or even years to come. 